There is a country named New Zealand that is home to a bird called a kiwi. And while there might not be many kiwis, they are quite strong. Strong enough to own and run a shoe care product company. However, some kiwis decided to learn martial arts and then started making video games like Balloons 1, SAS Zombie Assault 3, and Battle for the Galaxy. Wait. How did Ninja Kiwi make that? Well anyway, they made balloons, and there are many balloons games, such as Balloons 2, Balloons 2 Spring, and also BTD6, but that's not important. Now in 2012, a mobile game by Supercell called Clash of Clans started to exist, and it's pretty cool. So the Kiwi started to think, think about what if they made Clash of Clans, but with monkeys. So they made balloons, Monkey City, on the Ninja Kiwi Archive, let's go! First, we need to name our city. Let's name it the United States Idiocracy. You know, like idiocracy, but idot. Okay, we're we're not doing that. We're gonna play with the Steam version, but the name will stay because my goal is to recreate U.S. history. Except I'm the president. Wait, that's not a good thing. All right, here we go. Crash the economy speed run. Welcome to Balloons Cock. Have I played before? I would say yes, but I don't know what I'm doing. No. Okay. First mission, grass terrain. We have to be stealthy. Make sure the balloons don't see us. If they do, we have to go full guns blazing with darts. We need to place a dart monkey. Don't tell me where to place that monkey. I know what I'm doing. Wait, no. Okay, I'll place it there. Okay, why am I placing my dart monkey as far away from the balloons as possible? I should have said I've played before. I've played cock and balloons, so I should know how to play balloons cock. Our tactics proved to be pretty okay, and we got 10 XP, 130 money, two balloon stones from Balloons Pop, and a piece of land. Right now, we have a few buildings, including a farm, and farms give money. And with this farm money, we are going to build a dart monkey house, which is great. We'll be able to tax the monkey within the first 20 seconds of its house being built. Instead of putting the house on our land, I'll just put it in enemy territory, as it is a great way to befriend our neighbors. Wait, who are our neighbors? Oh, them. Oh, I hate them. That didn't work. We'll just have to put it in our new territory. And it's not aligned. But I mean, we all have to start somewhere. And we started in the middle of the United States, which is also the middle of the world. Kansas. Our first quest as a new nation. Capture dry land, build monkey academy, and research long range darts. Great, we're already working on a public school system before we even have water. Next level, we're in the jungles of Kansas. Now this will require guerrilla warfare, and we have three regular monkeys. If humans create a guerrilla warfare, I think our militia should be good. Battle time, one of three dart monkeys have been placed. No, 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 we missed one! Restart! Again, oh come on! Two now! That's worse than last time! It took me four attempts to realize a dart monkey can actually reach two paths, and now I'm trying to lower the volume. Turns out, there's only two options, on and off. So we're going with on. Round one was extremely hard, but the rest of the game was very easy. With our no lives lost victory, we earned the legendary award of two balloon stones. This was worth restarting the mission three times. Damn it! I entered edit mode! I don't want to edit! Wait, no! Not no! Yes is no! For, for this game! Alright, what am I doing? Oh! Friends! Damn it! Now we're starting a public school for four monkeys. Actually three. The farmer doesn't get an education and we just leveled up. Level 2, now we get $450 at the start of every game with 25 lives. All of this because I built a school. With our new Dart Monkey Academy, we can now research long range darts or increased render distance. It's only a matter of time before we are able to teach our monkeys about chemistry to create high powered explosives. Because in my country, explosives are legal when it's convenient. Next level, we're in the forest of East Kansas. Or Missouri. Look, I don't know, but hey, land is land. Now we're able to start the mission with two dart monkeys, which decreases our chances of having to restart. But something that will reduce our chances to zero is not caring about the extra balloon stones. Done, we're back home, and turns out our farm can only be leveled up once we're level 18, and I'm level 2. Pretty sure we're close, and I'm pretty sure we're even closer to getting an upgraded bank at level 15, and damn it! I hate this button! With our new land, we're going to buy a ninja monkey's house, and while we wait for that, let's go steal more land from the native balloons. I actually haven't explained my strategy on how I'm going to lead this nation, so let's do that. My first goal is to conquer Texas, then world domination. Okay, good. Now these missions are very simple. Just put down three dart monkeys, then victory. 
more land. And with this more land, I'm going to get a second ninja monkey. And somehow, the first one isn't even done yet. Pretty sure this is most of the game. Steal land from the balloons, slowly construct a monkey society, steal land from stronger balloons, and while all of this happens, wait. Okay, I'm just going to use balloon stones to finish the ninja boat. And we leveled up and got balloon stones. This was totally worth it. And no, I don't want a starter pack. Did George Washington ever need a starter pack? No, he needed help from the French and the Spanish. And with our level up, we got three new quests. I haven't even finished the first one. For one of them, we need to build five paths. I don't think we have our priorities straight. First schooling, then roads. I don't really know what we're doing. Next one, we need to build a windmill for power because before this, we only had one windmill to power our village. So let's do that now. But now we have no land. So let's get more land from those balloons. You know, I think I should actually start comparing my civilization to the real United States. So right now, it's 1785, George Washington is president and this happens. Much less interesting than us building our second windmill. We stole more land and then we finally unlock long range darts and now we have another quest move a house and build a bomb this is a great game let's now work on getting sharp shots for the dart monkey they are now learning about whetstones great i spent so much time wondering what i should do that my ninja monkey house has finally finished building so let's build another ninja monkey house damn it i need power fine i'll spend 27 balloon stones on a windmill Man, this economy has only existed for 13 minutes, and it's already garbage. But hey, at least we leveled up and finished the quest. Hopefully, we can also get some natural resources like oil, wood, and wax to finally start a shoe wax company called Monkey. These games are getting quite boring, and we got a new quest to steal treasure from the balloons. Basically, the golden helium tanks. Let's skip forward to getting our first bomb shooter. And no! No, I don't want to edit. We have a bomb shooter being built. However, I really want a dartling gun as they seem good. Oh, come on. My first media mission. We absolutely destroyed it. No. Sadly, that land had no waxes. So we're going to have to import shoe wax from my friends. Okay, we need to hope that the balloons actually have waxes. But what we can't do with this land is build a water mill. Oh, what do you mean? I can't build it here. It's near water. Do I have to steal water from the balloons? How do you do that? Let's just steal more of the south and level up, which also gives us access to the contested territory, which is actually the real reason as to why I played this game to prepare for the 32.0 update. Now I barely have enough manpower to be considered a small town, so let's not do that yet. Here we go. We're going to take the thick jungles of Missouri. I think our monkeys are better at guerrilla warfare than balloons are with balloon warfare, and turns out, yeah, they are. Now, it turns out there are some decorations you can use on your city, and apparently you can buy French people, French people, Billy the Kid, less important things, and traders. And no! It took me so long to realize you can steal water from the balloons, so now we're able to build our water mill. And since we have converted water into power, we are now ready to conquer the contested territory. I mean, there was an attempt, but our attempt was. Uh... We got a dartling gun, which is exactly how I will be able to conquer Texas. I used it in a game, and I'm pretty sure it made it easier. Though that land did not have any waxes, so we might need to find a new way to earn dollars. Even though we might not have wax, it is still important to teach our monkeys how to clean and shine their non-existent boots. Which is why I'm going to teach you how to clean and shine your boots with this Real Man Real Style Guide. We've all got a favorite pair of dress shoes, your daily go-to. Okay, look, I've watched this like four times at two in the morning. I've practically memorized every step, so let's do it without the video. Step one, remove laces. They aren't made from boots, so remove them. Also, put shoe trees in the boot. I don't know what they do. They just make my shoes feel fancy. Next, brush off dust, dirt, sand, or small pieces of rubber with a brush. This one is made from my own hair, which will work just fine. Step three, use some leather cleaner to clean the boots. Just use something, okay? Pretty sure toothpaste works. I'm using this leather cleaner spray that might actually just be water. Now use a towel or your old Doge t-shirts from sixth grade to wipe off the cleaner. Now let it sit there by itself for one hour. And while that happens, let's go play Balloons Cock. My God, this unupgraded dartling gun is so good. Imagine if we got two of them. You know what's better than two dartling guns? One upgraded dartling gun. Not really, but we're building a dartling gun upgrade place and attack shooter upgrade place. We're back, and yes, what we went through was the first hour of gameplay, and we have a few more hours to go. 
All right, this isn't gonna work. We have to go fast. I am going to click all the buttons and apparently I just got juiced. Okay. And we're going to get powerful darts for my dartling gun and faster shooting for my tack. But if we're being clear, I like the dartling way more. I really want that treasure chest, but darts can't reach that far. What about dartling guns? I'm pretty sure I could throw my boots that far. Speaking of boots, step four, apply a leather conditioner to the boots as the cleaner sucked out all the moisture from the boots. What a great way to phrase that while playing Balloon's Cough. Now to put moisture back into the boots, use a leather conditioner. Pretty sure that would even work on a cow's skin if it ever gets dry. The problem is, we don't have any cows, so the only thing we're gonna use wax on is shoes. And maybe belts. Wait, where do we get leather? Now we wait, either one hour or a whole day. So let's go with one hour. I am so close to that treasure chest, so I'm just gonna stomp on everything in my way. What a great way to phrase that while playing Balloon's Cop. Here we are, Treasure Land, Fast and Furious, a land filled with Fast and Furious balloons. But those balloons are nothing compared to a fully automatic machine gun. There we go, we have stolen treasure from the balloons. I'm betting it's a cream polish. Speaking of a cream polish, step 5, apply a coat. We actually got $2,000 from that. That's like 80 cream polishes. Speaking of 80 cream polishes, step 5, apply a cream polish to your shoes. Make sure it is the same color as the boot as it is used to give the shoes a uniform color. Basically, it covers scratches, scuffs, and most imperfections. However, do not apply it to yourself, especially to your face in this color, because that might actually be racist. Now wait a few minutes before brushing off the excess polish, and if you missed any imperfections, feel free to apply a second coat. Anyway, I'm going to build a balloon inflation factory near my dart monkey houses. It's really not a good idea to let your people know that you really want to invade other nations that aren't balloons. Which is why I want my military to operate in Texas as a strong military with powerful darts will need a state that no one likes. Wait, no. According to this article, Texas is the second worst state to live in. We should have gone for Arizona. Nah, Texas is cooler. Well guys, our Texas campaign is going very well. We are still in Kansas. Or have we entered Oklahoma? Either way, Texas will be ours soon, and after that, the world actually Mexico's next. Then the world! I really want another treasure chest, I just want to steal so much stuff from these balloons! But I don't want to fight these intimidating balloons, so we'll go around them. Man, I am a genius war commander. And a genius war commander must have shiny shoes. Step 6, apply a wax polish to the boots. Use another shirt from 6th grade to apply the wax to the shoe, and yes. I did wear this in 6th grade. There are many things that keep me up at night. This isn't one of them because I completely forgot about it until now, but since I remember it, I am not going to sleep. Now let the wax dry for 5 minutes, then brush off any excess wax with a hairbrush. And now, you're done! Oh wait, add laces. Wait, how the hell do you lace BOO! And just like that, you're done! Join me next time for when I teach you how to perfectly cook your denim jeans. Wait, what were we doing again? Oh yeah! Balloons of clans! We were going for a treasure chest, and thanks to my intellectual intellect, we died! Let's do that again, and we died again! Cool. Now I'm just trying to find some land that's actually invadable, and that is Texas. Apparently I need to build a building for camel detection, but I'm pretty sure unupgraded dartling guns can see camel without it. I don't know, but I'll just buy it after I get depleted plutonium for my dartling gun. So not now. The treasure land is now at medium difficulty, so we must be able to win! Wait, we won. Sweet, and we got a blessed dart. Man, that is horseshit. Let's try to save the engineer monkey from hell or the, the jungle. And so far, three of them have already died, and then they all died. The end. We actually won and saved the engineer from hell, and now we can build an engineer mon- uh, uh. Monkey house. Now nah, banks are cooler. We also leveled up to level 10, which means we have surpassed the real US in many ways. Like how we have so many more quests than the regular US. We also know what ninjas are, and I'm pretty sure in the early 1800s, they just found out about morphine. However, we have no wax. Okay. Stuff happened, and now I'm finally able to research fast balloons. But do I want to do that? Nah. Oh yeah, do you like my invasion pattern? I'm trying to make sure my monkeys don't have neighbors, but I don't want to spend money on walls. So we'll just use these walls instead. Now here, I press the edit button for a good reason. I don't want my monkeys to have neighbors. Unless they work for my military, then they move to Texas. Well, 
most of them. Our bombs are still near the banana farms, and I don't think the farmers really like it. I'm still using this checkerboard invasion pattern because I cannot afford fences, but I can afford these giant wooden walls. We are going to upgrade my dartling gun. I spent $5,000 just so we could shoot a little faster. To get that money back, we are going to steal more treasure from the balloons. I mean, we can make a shoe wax company, but we have no wax! We got the chest. Please get me out of debt. Please get me out of debt. Close enough. Well, nothing interesting happened, so let's just skip to when we get faster shooting on my dartling. It means we almost beat the game, and to beat the game, we need to get a tier 3 dartling. I don't know which one, but either of them will work. We also got speedy balloons, which means we can now finally attack someone with, uh... Ram ramp? F Round ramp? Yeah, that'll work. And we got five balloon stones, and we completed a quest because of it. Back to world domination. Dartling guns. Yeah, they are so good. And we also got level 12 and unlocked monkey knowledge. But instead of being the monkey knowledge we all know and forget about, this monkey knowledge makes certain towers better as you level them up. Like how for the monkey ace, level 1 would give it like 10% more attack speed, and level 10 would increase the poisonous liquid storage in the plane by 324%. Here we got a wild card that can be used on any tower we want, so let's use it on my favorite tower, the dartling gun. Level 1, less spread, cool, and holy crap! One extra pierce at level 2? I think we might be able to beat the game earlier than expected. Wait, this is a Crash the Economy speedrun. Alright, here we go, Crash the Economy speedrun. Oh wait, we already did that with the windmill. Oh yeah. We also got this beacon land and got another monkey knowledge box. Also, we can fight the dread balloon now. I don't know what it does, and I don't think I want to know what it does. Alright, first box. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, it's level 2 already! Let's go! We also got a wild card, and I think you know what tower I'm going to use it on. Fun fact, it's not the tax shooter. Alright, Dread Balloon Titan. Listen, little man, I don't care about you. I can beat this boss on my own. Oh, god damn it. Why do I hear lead? Wait, the boss is lead! Oh my god! I don't think we're gonna win, so let's use our free boss kill. I only used it because it was free, and we have no money because we have no wax. Ninja Kiwi, please add wax to Balloons Monkey City. Please. Well, that was easy, and we didn't even need to spend any money on powers because we have dartling guns and a monkey knowledge crate. Active ability level up, and we don't even have any abilities yet. I want to see how good the dartling gun is with two pierce. Oh my god, the balloons aren't even on the screen anymore. This is great, and if we get two of them, we won. We won. This stole us the whole game. Trust me. The reason why there is no free play in Balloons Monkey City is because Ninja Kiwi fears me, God, wax companies other than Kiwi, and small heavies from TF2. Speaking of wax, we still haven't gotten any, and none of my monkeys are talking about my boot shining guide. Mostly because they can't really talk. I mean, that's good, but my dreams of starting a shoe care product company are gone. So let's start a clothing brand. Now the clothing we're making is what we call groundbreaking. It can also be called a fat pile of burning garbage, but we don't talk about that. What I'm going to do is make clothes out of rubber. It's a great idea. We already have so much rubber from the balloons and nobody wears shirts. We have to capitalize on this market. Also, I have some great designs for my clothing. Plus, these shirts will intimidate the balloons as they are equivalent to shirts made from human skin. Wait, is that even legal? I mean, it's like 1820 or something. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the only thing stopping me is my moral compass. And that thing only points south. So you know what? Let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't have enough monkeys to have some work in a factory. So we're going to have to scrap that plan until we have a large enough population. While we wait, let's finally move our balloon factory to Texas. Even though our balloon research center is still right next to a banana farm, it is a start. Somebody has dared to attack me. So let's show them who's boss. Little man, shut the fuck! As you can see, dartling guns are very balanced and should not be nerfed at all. Now here, I would exact revenge on my opponent, but I can't because I need to research thermal balloons or something. I hate this game. I also got this glue land. I don't know what it does, it just looks weird. I bet you know by now that this is the whole game, so let's skip to the part where I win, past all the contested territories, land conquerings, and boss events. Here, we get our tier 3 hydrocopods. Okay, the recording froze. I blame Kiwi for this. Well, uh, watch as we absolutely demolish this attack from a foreign nation. See? Very simple. Now, I would attack him back, but we still cannot attack people! However, I was able to get all of the balloon upgrades and finally recorded a 40 second clip of me attacking someone for the first time in 100 years. Epic. 
Now this was a very special moment for my nation, as it was probably 1941. World War I just started, and a lot of people hate each other. And while they're too busy hating each other, I can steal from all of them. And yes, this gives you so much money, because nobody can defend these attacks. And I would like to say thank you to everybody for being complete garbage at this game. You know what else gives you a lot of money? Contested territories, because nobody wants to play them. And even if people play it, they don't have Hydro Rocket Pods, and I destroyed them with Hydro Rocket Pods. Boss balloons? Don't even get me started. Darling guns destroy them. Well, the lower tiers, not the higher tiers. They destroy them. Now I have a lot of money, a powerful army, a messy country, and no wax. So what more do I need? Well, there's something I think most of you forgot about. The Texas invasion. Right now, it's probably 1960. Why? We have missiles. Like, a lot of missiles. So the UN exists, and I don't think they'd like it if I invaded Texas and quite possibly everything below it. So I had to keep my conquest on the down low to make sure that the UN didn't find out what I was doing. Also, Zoom Gs were very annoying. But thanks to the tier 4 Darling gun that I got off camera, I was finally able to draw a line through Texas, Mexico, and quite possibly the entirety of South America. And now, with this new land, I am finally going to build my first pineapple stand. So here's my country right now, and as you can see, we are doing much better than the real US. Besides the fact that most of our money comes from stealing from other nations or gambling because we couldn't get any waxes. And I think my clothing business was hated by the world and quite possibly God. Our country is also very unorganized. Seriously, our aeronautics lab is right next to a wizard's tower. We're teaching our monkeys about guerrilla warfare next to a wizard's tower. And we're researching the coldest substance is known to monkey next to a monkey communication center. Now all of this was accomplished in the span of about 22 hours, which is much better than the US's 246 years. Oh no. Wait, that wasn't 22 hours. Still, much better than the US's 246 years. Anyway chimps, that was the video. I hope you learned how essential it is to shine your shoes. Comment down below if you would want to live in my country, though keep in mind we might be researching dangerous chemicals next to your house and your neighbor might be a ninja. Anyway chimps, I'm going to keep grinding contested territories because I might be clinically addicted to Balloons Monkey City, so piss off. Oh, wait, Ninja Kiwi, make the next room BTD6 wear leather shoes. Alright, now piss off.